Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am at Universal Studios Hollywood and today I will be trying the spiral croissant at the French Bistro. I am super excited to try this croissant. I've heard nothing but good, amazing things about it. So let's jump right in. Let's get our hands or should I say our mouths on this delicious croissant. Let's get right into it. All right, so coming right up to the park now, I was going to beeline it straight down to French Bistro, but the partitions are finally down and they have this awesome, awesome looking display for the release of Fast X. Now, if you haven't been to Hollywood Studios, one of the highlights of the studio tour is this fun portion at towards the very end regarding the Fast and Furious series. I won't spoil it for you, but in release of the new movie Fast X, they have a lot of the cars used in the film here on display. This is really, really cool. So. Let's take a closer look. As you can kind of hear, this is definitely more of an experience because they have the music, they have the lights going. So this is kind of like an all encompassing display they have here of these show cars. Oh, really, really cool. And then obviously we have Dominic Toretto's beautiful charger up top, front and center on display. So if you are a fan of the Fast and Furious franchise, I highly recommend coming out to check out these gorgeous, absolutely beautiful vehicles that you will recognize from the different movies. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite Fast and Furious movie in the entire series? I have to say, it's hard for me to pick one in particular. Obviously, the first one's fantastic because it paved the way for all the others. But I think between Fast Five and too fast too furious those are probably my top two favorite fast and furious movies but again let me know in the comments below which ones are you a fan of all right looks like we have some signs of halloween horror nights construction going on up above here most definitely looking creepy already this is right next to mel's diner this definitely looks like a facade of maybe one of the houses or part of the decor for halloween horror nights so Looking good, looking good. As we make our way to French Street Bistro, I can tell it's not too, too crowded inside. Hopefully the line isn't too long. Uh, I just cannot wait to get my hands on one of those spiral croissants. A lot of the pictures I've seen online, it's dipped in chocolate. I don't know if all the croissants are dipped in chocolate or if it's an option, but we're gonna go inside and find out. So let's see what they have to offer. Oh, the smell coming out from here is absolutely delicious. Cannot wait to give a taste and see what the hype is all about. So once you come inside, you can see they have some of their delectables up on top. But also if you want something more like quick serve, quick grab and go. They do have sandwiches, salads, some fruit cups and beverages you can grab and take with you. Um, but that's not what we're here for. We are here for these bad boys. Oh my gosh, they look absolutely amazing. I think... So there are three different kinds. There's a cho chocolate swirl, and they have chocolate chip cookie, and then a strawberry spiral. I think, I mean, it's like go big or go home, right? I think I'm going to get one of each, because why not? So you can see on the menu here, they do have this spiral croissant trio at $24.99 rather than paying for each one individually at $8.99 per spiral croissant. So I'm going to grab the trio, of course, because I want one of each. I'm also going to grab an iced cafe mocha because it is warm today. All right, so we have all three delicious-looking spiral croissants here. And 
I'm going to go in with a fork and knife because my hands aren't clean and I don't want to make a mess all over myself. I'd rather make a mess on the table. So first one I'm going into is just the regular spiral croissant that's dipped in chocolate. Okay, cutting into it's very soft on the inside, you can tell. <sighs> Cannot wait to take my first bite. Is there anything? Oh, there's a filling. There's what looks like a chocolate cream filling on the inside. That I did not know. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I hope. Cheers. Mm. This is really, really good. You can see how on the inside it has a bit of that chocolatey filling. Oh my gosh, that tastes delicious. And it's you would think because it's like so big that it'd be like crusty and hard, but it's not. You can see like pressing into it with my fork. It is super soft. Not very light, but also not too dense. It's like the perfect combination. And I think the fact that there's filling on the inside, so it's helping that not feel too dense. This is really, really delicious. Now I can't wait for the cookie crumble one and then the strawberry. So let's dig right into those. Next up is the one with the chocolate chip cookies. All right, cutting into it, it looks the same as the spiral croissant one. I don't think there's a difference in the filling. Let's see. Nope, the filling looks exactly the same. It's dipped in chocolate. The other one, it just has chocolate chip cookies on top. Mm -hmm. mm. Obviously just, just as delicious as the first one, but the chocolate chip cookie crumbles that are on top are soft. I thought just by like looking at it, they were hard. Kind of like, you know, chips ahoy, they're a little bit harder, unless you specifically got the soft one. But they are using softer chocolate chip cookies. So good, so good. All right, last but not least, is this beautiful i mean that just looks absolutely gorgeous so i cannot wait i'm curious if it has the same filling on the inside or if it has a strawberry filling let's cut into it and see all right so this one just like the other two nice and soft very easy to cut into again if you're not trying to be neat like me you can for sure just bite right into this especially because it's so soft it's not gonna make too huge a mess like more crispier croissants can tend to do oh yeah this definitely has a strawberry filling you can tell it has a pink filling on the inside and it actually looks like the same frosting inside and on the exterior and there are pieces of strawberry so let's get that in the bite as well oh, fully loaded Mm -hmm. Right now, this is by far my favorite. Um, the strawberry cream is so light and airy, but still really flavorful. It doesn't have too much of that like artificially strawberry flavoring, which can be really annoying, especially at a theme park. You know, you're paying you're paying a premium for some of this food. You want some authenticity, but this tastes really, really good. So good, so yummy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm probably going to pack up the other two, but sit here and finish devouring the strawberry one. Is that good? All right, guys, that wraps up my review of those delicious spiral croissants at French Bistro. Definitely go ahead and check them out if you make your way to Universal Studios Hollywood. I am stuffed. So I'm going to relax inside the nice AC here and check out Fast X because after all the promo stuff they've had going on, I haven't seen it yet and I love the franchise. 
time to get my cars on. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out my next upcoming videos every Tuesday here on Pink Travel Adventures. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment below what your favorite Fast and Furious movie is and if you get a chance to check out this spiral croissants. Thank you guys so much and have spectacular adventures.